Do you intend to have more children? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Christian Anastasia. On this episode, we are going to continue with our Q&A. If you remember last week, we got a little bit into are we expecting a child? We answered that one. You got to check that out. Spoiler alert. This week, we're going to talk about do we even want more children? How do we keep our marriage fresh? And then we have a check-in with Kwame. Kwame. So Kwame has been allergic to bike riding. And uh, he really has. The training wheels don't work. Just at the right time, Royal Baby reached out to us, and we're excited to partner with them on this episode. So thank you, Royal baby mm-hmm. bike uh, because they got this awesome bike yes. you slide to ride it's like a uh, um, you learn how to do a balance bike first get your balance get mm-hmm. your confidence and then you can just clip on these uh, pedals when the time is right uh, and there's a lot of other great features we're going to talk about so you can help you your kid yes. um, learn how to bike ride uh, and Juan is getting so much confidence man he's really digging it yeah he's loving it and he hated it biking so all right guys let's get into this episode right now do you intend to have more children no. <laughs> she has a response that she says sometimes, and her response is, Christian, if you want to carry this child for nine months, we can have as many as you want. Oh, hell no! We both have not agreed 100% together. He is at a certain percentage that we should have a third child because he keeps looking at the kids and saying, look at that, I mean, that's so beautiful. We should have more. And then I look at the kids and I say, we have a good thing going on where he can, he will handle one and I handle the next one. And it's just like, we have this understanding and this beautiful mm. collaboration and partnership and, and loving with these two boys why do I want to gin stay with a third child? Meaning, a third child might be make our life miserable. <laughs> she likes man-to-man coverage. I don't mind trying zone defense. It's only two of us, right? I take Kwame, I take Kweku, or I take Kwame, he takes Kweku. It's working out beautiful, and I love it, and I feel like a third child, it, it will be a little challenging and a little difficult. Yes. I think we should just live this naive and it's not naive. It's just that it just when you're when you're man to man on your children, it's a lot easier. When you go to three, that's when it gets real. I'm more to a no right now. I'm like a ninety percent no, and the only ten percent is for him. So basically, yeah, we good, we done. And she gets the majority votes. So there we go. So two, that's it. Stasia, back to work. If yes, how does she balance childcare and work? How much Christian also manage work life balance with two children? <laughs> I've been back to work for a long time. Quick, it's 11 months now. I've been back to work probably nine months now. I went back to work a little quickly. My work is very understanding. Everybody helps me with Kweku. It's, it's very like, co-family. We don't really have childcare. We just do it alone. I bring Kweku to work with me. And Kwame goes to school. The days I cannot bring Kweku to work, Christian, takes Kweku to work. And the days that he can't take, so we kind of balance between his job and my job. He has amazing coworkers who helps out. I have amazing coworkers who help out. And don't you laugh at Kweku's outfit. But by the time the clothes came from can Ghana, t- he had already grown. Oh. He just woke up. What are you guys' favorite, your favorite colors to wear? I like all bright colors, orange, red, blue, pink, all of it. What is your favorite color? Blue. My favorite color is gray. Kwame's favorite color is gray. Kwame's color changes, yeah, daily. How is your mother, sister, family doing, Christian? Okay, now as you can see that we have a visitor and he is eating. Oh, that's so nice of you, Kathy Jacobs, 4616. Uh, They're doing great. They're doing really, 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 really well. Um, How are your parents doing in siblings, Anastasia? They are doing very well as well. Siblings are well, parents are well. Everybody's doing well. Favorite physical feature on your spouse? Quick interruption for a little bit of a Kwame update. As we said before, Kwame's been allergic to bike riding and uh, we, we want to share with you some awesome stuff that he's been doing because he's getting really confident in this bike riding. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So we just got the Royal Baby bike in the mail. So I'm going to open this up and check out what it's like, put it together. I am super excited about this because, listen, we've been trying to teach Kwame how to ride a bike, which really hasn't been going well. Um, not really a fan of the training wheels. So we try to do stuff without the training wheels. It's gotten to a point where he kind of doesn't really dig biking anymore. Uh, so you're like, let's go bike. And he's just like, no. So I was really excited when Royal Baby gave us a call and said, hey, do you guys want to do a sponsorship? We're like, yes, please. And so I'm going to open this up, put the scene together, and then get the main man, Kwame, uh, out. And we're going to see if we can get him riding a bike. If not, we're going to tell you how it goes down. <laughs> So 
already off the bat, I love this because this thing is pretty much already put together. Oh, so World Baby's giving you a bike that can be used for pedaling and non-pedaling. So obviously we're gonna start off with a non-pedaling bike. That's the whole point of a balanced bike is that the idea is forget doing the uh, training wheels because it just gets them way too dependent. A balancing bike without those pedals will then get them to learn how to balance and to become better balancers. And then when they are ready finally to put the, the pedals on and let go. We are gonna have uh, these landing pads that Kwame can just rest his feet on as he is balancing on the bike. I got some pedals, of course. Jet engines. Boom. Some tools. So I'm not really the most handy dude. I say that just as like, so if I pull this off, um, you can definitely uh, pull this one off too. Oh, that's the water bottle. Stem cover. Okay, so that didn't take too long to uh, get that together. So guys, as you can see, this is totally light to carry, so I'm excited about that because the other bike that we have for Kwame is not this light. Now I'm just excited of getting Baby Boy excited to do this. All right guys, it's a new day. Kwame has now got his bike. He's got it all assembled and he's got his helmet on, of course and he's gonna give it a shot. He just started with his balancing. Now what you want to do is put one foot in front of the other. There you go, one foot in front of the other. Yeah, and then put your feet up when you get confident. You can put them on those pads. This is so amazing, because Kwame back in the day was allergic to the bike. Like he would not get on a bike. It was too heavy, he would fall, he would hurt himself, he didn't like the training wheels. So far, so good, he's staying on this thing. Can you now turn it around? See how light it is. So get used to it. There you go. Find your balance, find your balance, find your balance. Yee -wee! Whoa! Before, he wouldn't even get comfortable on the bike. Uh, even with the one training wheel, it would fall over, it was heavy, he'd get upset. Now, he's just getting so comfortable. It's easy, it's light. Uh, he can really take ownership of it. He's getting used to his balance. He's already putting his feet up on the little landing pads. So, so that's your pedal. See, you want, should we put it on your bike? So we're gonna take this on, pop it on. You got a qualm? Yeah, yeah, you did it! You did. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is all the first day he's trying this and the, he's gonna try it with the pedals. Take your time. You wanna take the pedals off? Yeah. yeah. Boom. Now you can go back to using your feet. You guys, he saw this bike, we put it together in the in the garage, and all he wanted to do is when we got off work was to ride the bike. That wasn't happening before with the other bike. It's good for beginners. Uh, he can slide before he rides. So if you start doing the whole thing with the training wheels, that slows him down. Um, this is getting him to gain the confidence he has to now get his balance right on his body to not be dependent upon anything else except his own body. Favorite physical feature on your spouse? Do you want to go first? No, I like to hear the men first. I love your eyes, always very sexy. The treatment you do with your hair, even though like you're adding things and removing things with your hair, is always very sexy. I love the curly hair, it's always a great look. I find your lips uh, very, very um, um, attractive. You have a beautiful skin, very, very voluptuous. So these are all fan favorites, so I'm a fanboy. But I think it's good to ask these things just because, you know, we're six years into marriage, which I know we're still kind of babies, but you know, you, you gotta keep on, you know, talking about these things because, you know, it's true. What about you, babe? It's funny how he's talking about my eyes. I love his eyes too. He has the most beautiful hair. I, I said I like it when it's long and I like it when it's short, but when he cuts it, then he looks very professional. So you like professional look? I don't know, but when you live it long, I like it too. I don't know, but all I know is he has some healthy, beautiful, nice, low wavy hair. As crazy as he always talk about his nose is long, I think it's, it fits his face so perfectly. I love his smile. Oh, smile. you have a beautiful smile. Very beautiful <laughs> smile. People really, people love your smile. So uh, we're attracted to each other, so that's listen, good. That's good I'm for marriage. I'm looking at him like, anyway. You always look dapper wearing Ghanaian outfits. <laughs> 
Do you only wear these on special occasions? You know, unfortunately, yes. I love the Ghanaian outfits. I would wear them a lot more if uh, I would keep the slim fit bod going, but um, I'm, that, that hasn't happened recently. Also, here's the other thing too, and I don't know if anyone knows who's non-Ghanaian, non-African. Uh, uh, it looks good like when you're at a special event, but if I'm just randomly wearing Ghanaian outfits out and I'm not with my family who's also wearing it, I feel a little self-conscious, like, not like a poser, just maybe, 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 I guess so. Like, I, it makes sense what I'm at a family festival thing, but if I'm just rolling solo, I, I get yeah, it. The confidence is not it. there. And that, 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 that's all me. I'm not saying that's, that's, that's appropriate. I'm just saying that's all me. I get it. How do you manage what's your favorite protected, enjoyable, quality family time with the busy schedules? What, what, what would you say? I would say when we put our kids to bed and then we, you and I sit down, <laughs> we don't fall asleep. But as a family, all four of us. What do oh, we like oh, to do a lot? Oh, four of us. Oh, we dance. Yeah, we have these dance parties. Oh, oh, and yeah. that's not just like put on. Like that's a thing, like, that's yeah. a kind of a cool thing we do as a family. We so do a dance, we play, we tell Alexa something. She plays something and then Kweku, Kweku is a dancer, Kwame would jump in. How do you maintain your relationship as a couple? I know what helps me is that I do a lot of premarital with other couples, so it constantly reminds me of the stuff that I'm preaching to other couples that I need to make sure I'm doing with uh, my wife. I'm not saying I always do it, but it does help me. And then I would say our, our biggest Bobby. growing point is finding more personal time together, more hot dates, we did it recently. We went to New York. That was huge. And Which was we're gonna so start great. again in January, guys, because quick we start school. We we'll tell you guys about it in a different vlog. And then Christian and I are gonna we're gonna find one of the days during the week, and then we're gonna be having lunch together again. And family dinners are key. And we do family dinner every single day. What was the biggest challenge, difficulty that came with having a toddler and an infant in the same house? I think having our time because we now we have to juggle between the two yes he takes one i take one so we are always at, and then when we house. get done we're exhausted and we just fall asleep and then we try to, at least we try to be together after they go to sleep and then i always fall she's asleep, asleep by the credits yeah literally. if it's really bad literally. we'll be searching searching we'll find something and that's why i think it's good that we try to talk before we even turn on the tv because yes. if once we turn the tv yeah. it's permission yeah. to just conk out yes how do you guys manage your individual social lives being Bye. young parents <laughs> I went to New York by myself not long ago to be with the girls um, without the kids at all. And then I also went to Orlando for work and I stayed an extra day by myself without the kids. Christian went to Chicago to be with his family and his friends. So we try to get it in when we can. I have their solo time, yeah, go to the gym. <laughs> but like all my closest friends are really either in uh, Los Angeles, Chicago, or New York. So uh, like, yeah, I don't really me. have that here. So yeah, I know. That's sort of been like a little bit of a, a something we miss in our lives. It's, I think it's a little also tough to have make friendship when you get older and you have kids. Being a priest and a priest wife. It's tough. There's there's just you. <laughs> you want to be my friend? I'm kidding. No, you get close with people, but there's still that. You're, you're, there's still a slight line there that says you're the priest. So. Uh, I'm here, the priest's wife, even though I think we're pretty down to earth. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed all of that Q&A. Thank you so much for all those questions. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your family because we do have the photo shoots coming. And thank you so much, Royal Baby Bike, for this amazing, incredible bike because I'm even excited and I don't even bike. Peace. Bye.